Hi, I'm Mary Poplin, and today we're going to go over how to get rid of a lav mic using Mocha Pro in Photoshop. So you could try to do this shot in a way I've shown you in previous tutorials where you take a clean plate that you made in Photoshop and you use a track that you did in Mocha and you drop it into After Effects and put that over the top of your original plate. The problem with that is that the colors don't match when you have subtle lighting changes on objects like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Mocha Pro's Remove module to clean this up and match the lighting in an automated way. That works a little bit better and is a little bit faster. And since the whole point of Mocha is to make your work faster or make you able to do tasks that you wouldn't normally do, I think you're going to find this pretty useful. So let's go ahead and get started. First we're going to set up our new project. We want to make sure that our frame rate and our aspect ratio are the same size as our final project inside of whatever comping tool we're using or our edit and hit OK. So let's get started. The most important part of any Mocha remove is going to be the planar track. So we're going to take our X spline and we are going to draw a shape right around our microphone just like this. And we're going to make sure our surface tool on and our grid tool is on and we're going to align our surface and grid tool to our chest and the reason we do that is because we need to make sure that this track looks good. Now there's not a lot of detail here and there are a lot of lighting changes so I don't think I'm going to use perspective when I track and the reason I don't want to use perspective is because sometimes perspective can mistake lighting changes for tilts in perspective. So we're only going to track translation, scale, rotation, and shear and we're going to stop there and leave perspective unchecked and I'm going to call this BG track. Now let's hit track forward. And that's really nice and rock solid. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a shape around the object we're trying to remove, in this case the microphone. Just like this. And we're going to call this remove. And we're going to link remove to BG track. And now that's going to move really nicely through my shot. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to soften the edges of my remove shape. So let's go into our background shape and make it a little bigger to contain our remove shape because we actually have to have the small remove shape inside the larger BG shape to actually do a successful remove. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go over to edge width and we're going to go to add. And we're going to add a little bit of softness to our microphone. Just so, if you look at our mask here, and we'll change the color so you can see what this looks like, just so we have some feathering on our mask so when we blend our remove back into our original shot in our render we have some nice edges. So this is what I'm going to remove and this is how I'm going to remove it. So what I'm going to remove and how I'm going to remove it. To remove this I simply go over to the remove tab and in the remove tab I'm going to come down to my clean plate clip. Now the clean plate clip is going to help me because I can't see behind this microphone and that's problematic. I have to be able to see behind the microphone in order to remove the object because Mocha uses the background tracking data in order to remove the object by looking at where the object moves over the background. Well, the object is not moving over the background, it's actually connected to it. So I will have to paint a new frame where we can see behind the object inside of Photoshop. So we're going to hit go to cre clean plate clip and I'm going to hit create. And now we're going to head over to Photoshop. Inside of Photoshop, we're going to open our results folder. And now we're going to select our clean plate that we just made by hitting create clean plate. Now we're going to go to view extras and turn those off and zoom in and start cloning this out. So let's select our clone tool and let's start painting this microphone out just like that. And we're going to keep painting our microphone out just like this. Now I'm hitting alt to select and then clicking to paint. It's pretty straightforward. If you've ever painted in Photoshop, it's always the way you paint with the clone tool. Now I'm sort of running out of stuff to clone to get this button, so we're just going to smooth that. I'm going to smooth this with the smudge tool. And let's make a very, very small paintbrush and do some manual, manual painting right here for our button. Let's check what our other button looks like, and we're just going to smudge this a little bit, just like that. So now we have our button on our shirt, and let's sort of smudge this line a little bit as well. And we'll just grab our paintbrush tool again and we'll fix this line just like that. And I'll smudge this edge right here. So now our microphone is gone and we have our button and our edge. Let's clean that up. 
All right, perfect. So we're going to hit Control S for save, and we're going to just get rid of Photoshop. Now, inside of Mocha, I'm going to go down to my clean plate clip, and we're going to hit Use Clean Plates Exclusively so we don't replace microphone with other frames of microphone. And we're going to use illumination modeling interpolate. Now we're doing that because you can see there's a lot of subtle lighting changes happening as he turns his body and light reflects off that white cloth. If we used linear illumination modeling, Mocha would try to interpolate the inside plate that we've made and change the lighting and hue, saturation, and value in a linear way, which is to say the entire spline. But with interpolate, what we're going to do is we're going to look at all of the sections around the spline and do a color blend across them. It's a little more render intensive, but it looks better when you have this sort of subtle detail. So we're going to turn our overlays off, and we're going to zoom out so you can see what's happening here. And the last thing we're going to do is we're actually going to make sure that the remove layer is above the background layer because that is how Mocha works. The remove layer is what you're removing and the background is how you're removing it. And we're going to go ahead and hit render backwards. And if I've done everything correctly, Mocha will remove the microphone for us just like magic. So what you end up with is this nice remove with no more lav mic on our bib and we can go ahead and finish our shot by going and exporting it. So we're going to go to File, Export Rendered Clip, and in Export Rendered Clip we're going to go to QuickTime Movie. We're going to choose, pick our name and our folder, and we're going to go ahead and hit OK, and once it's done you can play it. So here's the before, and here's the after, and there you go. It's that fast. I am Mary Poplin with Imagineer Systems, and this has been How to Remove a Lav Mic Using Mocha Pro and Adobe Photoshop. If you have any questions, please go to our forums or contact support. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you have a wonderful day.